back to the channel everybody and welcome to all the new people who are subscribed thank you very much um big shout out and a big thank you to all the positive comments i'm getting regarding the focus build didn't expect it it's just a nail it's a daily it is my problem child has a bow um but yeah been cocking the miles up in there this week and uh, been here again everywhere we're now looking at new cars for chelsea unfortunately we've sold to range rover um but yeah a few little updates i've got my registration plates eventually off my audi and they're now on the focus so that's pretty cool and happy Over gel overlay on the back, um, I'm just gonna stick it there to my car, but yeah. Um, I got this off Darren, my friend, um, Borge Recirculating Dump Valve. I'm gonna upload a little video right now, um, of why I keep hearing this like a wee noise, um, very difficult to hear. Um, but somebody said it could be a spit diaphragm in this. If you take a look, okay. So, one thing I want to show you that. Is that I'm getting this hybrid squealing when I go on a boost over half bar boost, not when it's cold when it's warm. Some people said it could be manifold studs. Um, I think I'm saying like be from past experience they go you hear them. But I'm getting a wee, a wee, and it sounds like somebody's spinning. Um, I don't know if it's a vacuum leak. I don't know if it's the standard and um, research dump valve. Thank you, Darren, for the forge one because I'm gonna be swapping that out this weekend. Um, or if it's a split in the bookstores, but let's see if we can hear it now. I have to back off a bit so I can give it some boost. But if you listen to it, fitting onto the car it's easy enough apparently it's a uh, jug car up driver's wheel off and straight through above a drive shaft take a boost solenoid off um, I'll show you when I do that and I'll show you when it's running um, I'm on the lookout for cold side boost doors in blue if anybody's got one they want to sell to me um, possibly a front mount intercooler as well stage two something like that um, for the right price I might buy one um, but yeah um, let's see how this video goes along I'm going to do some painting as well today, so I'll show you the prepping, I'll show you the mixing, I'll show you the paint. Um, I'll show you them fitted at the end of it, and then we'll see what else comes along. But yeah, until then, cheers. 12 seconds later. Just want to remind everybody too, if you're new to the channel, go back and have a few old videos on this. A full rebuild, restoration, okay? This is a replica. It's a 2 litre N7A turbo, right? Got a GT25 on standalone management. Full custom setup, okay? Using loads of original parts. Um, this is how the channel evolved. Um, top spec, loads more coming on this car. But yeah, um, take a look at it. If you're new, um, you might be interested in it. Loads of body, etc., and other projects too. 
Also for those who have been asking, soon, I mean soon, I will be making start on my Fiesta RS Turbo in Mercury Grey. I'm going all out on that way. If you remember my white one, it's going to be even better. Okay, so I'm going to paint my washer jet caps, okay? I believe these are off a facelift, mine's pre-facelift, but we're going to make it work anyway. And the scotchies, um, then I'm going to panel wipe them and decrease them, get them taped, get them onto this box. This will be my spray box. Um, I'm using this octrel paint which is a ford performance blue which comes from ips and swansea it's a one-to-one -one mix so that's one part paint and one part thinners you can have two to three coats nice light one a wet one and a bit of a dust or whatever and then i'm going to do the same way with a clear coat which will be a two to one to ten percent um using mixing cups stirring paint gun compressor etc okay I'll speed it up and do a bit of a time lapse all there so you get to see it. But if there's any questions, ask in the comments. Um, yes, I could have done these with a rattle can, but I can guarantee you in two or three months they would crack, okay? So let's do things proper, there's no messing around. I was going to do some bits under the bonnet, but I am got time to prep them right now so they can just go texture black, okay? But yeah, have a watch. So there's the first quick dusting on. Um, leave that flow out there. Give it about five minutes, ten minutes. Then I go on in, and then go on again after that. Okay. But yeah, it's come out okay so far. It's a. Uh, it's nice. It's thin paint, isn't it? It's a base, and it's got a bit of a pearlescent metallic, metallic in it. It comes with pearlescent metallic. Um, but yeah, I keep you updated as I go through the layers. Okay, so that's the base done. Um, now I'm going to clear coat. Okay, so we're going to use this clear. Um, so the mix is two parts clear, one part hardener for a 10% thinness, okay? Mix it again in a cup as per. You've got the directions on the side of a cup which will help you. So that's three to two to one, four to two to one, two to one and 10%. So we go with this one, okay? Um, I'm going to mix it now, I'm going to do that off camera, get in the gun and get it blasted on you. Okay, so they're painted now, ready for the car. I'll leave them dry off overnight. A little bit of a denib on them, just got some dust in them. But yeah, they've come tidy. Okay, so I went to the car. Interesting fact. Not too sure if you can see. It's windows here. Car already has an aftermarket uh, recently in Dunfarth. So, I don't know what to think about that right now. Shall I swap it? Not. Um, listen to the noise, the noise is and tell me what you think because I don't want to be doing this job if I don't need to be doing it. Um, the Forge one is probably better than the Mercury one, it's on there, but I can't see what Mercury is on there. But it is obviously an aluminium one or a little bit of stainless one or something. But yeah, hmm. Gift that keeps giving. So it's two weeks to have owned this car. So I don't know. It drives hard, it pulls hard. It's just that noise. We won't be a video of a pup update. These guys are six weeks old today. There he is. Hello. You tired? Yeah. We've all got new homes now. We're forever homes. Come here, little guy. You can go back in there. Yoink. Look how gorgeous they are. 
This is Frank. This is Hugo. This is Phoebe. These Belgo Baggins. And this is Belgo Bungo. Bungo. And this is Woody. He went yesterday. So yeah, they got new names to learn. A day in a life of just swing dinner. <laughs> we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey yo, I'm not a fan of this plastic gel overlay thing. I'm not feeling it. It's not straight. So yeah, I'm gonna remove this. I don't have an advance. Go off for the gel overlay. No, I've never dreamed of it. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. It's a place on the car now. Just waiting for the these. Just testing these at the moment before I taxi them on. The Dina Burma flat on portion, but yeah. Tidy. Obviously, we're not 100% dry yet. Yeah. They are dry, they're touch dry. The colour is there, it's just obviously the shades and the lighting of it. I'll take that. One eternity later. So, since I've had this car, I've not washed it. So, I've just actually done a two bucket. So, shampoo and just water. But yeah, it's scrubbed up pretty well. It's got a few little nickels and stuff now. The car will get painted by me, um, side by side or panel by panel. Um, but yeah, let's take a walk around. So yeah, as I was saying, I haven't washed the car until just now. I'll just give it a quick two bucket soap and shampoo job. But yeah, it's come up decent, isn't it? Don't forget, we're gonna change our wheel, it's in the boot, just going off tomorrow to be done. It's not recognisable as when I first bought it. I'm sure you'll agree with that. Just a quick one. What is it with people buying and selling cars, right? Which I just don't get. So Chelsea sold a Range Rover today. Perfect, great, trouble-free sale. We were completely honest. First focus ST, where I went to go and see, well, arranged the buy and almost paid the deposit. Did a HPI check. Come back, I was standing finance. Spoke to the guy, no, 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 I wasn't going to stand in finance. I was told it was cleared. Ring a finance company. It's not been paid for three years. That vehicle, as soon as it went into my name, would have been confiscated. Went to go and see a car yesterday for Chelsea. Drove hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes there. Spend some time going around there. Alright buddy? HPI clear. He's on register as a cat. Oh yeah mate, it's a cat then. I wouldn't have told you. Why wouldn't you told me? Just be honest. Now the car went to go and see. Must have taken the photos of a different car. Useless. Went to a garage, went and see another car. Disaster. So we're going to see another car later for Chelsea, but fingers crossed. And wish us luck guys, alright? Um, we got the Range Rover's gone now, but we're also happy too. I'm happy it's gone to a good home. Um, but yeah, pe people are broken. 12 seconds later. Right, let's have a reality check, right? So we've just been to see a car. I told you about Chelsea sold the car. We just went to McDonald's and got three meals, okay? Three meals and a box of chicken nuggets. £27.38. What the actual fuck is this life coming to? That's all I let you know. So you want to think that's expensive? Three meals, mind. Cheap and cheerful. Shocking. Right then, so just to be clear, I want to clear this up because there is negativity out there and I seem to be getting a little bit like put towards the side of my channel. Only off certain people. Um, but yeah, I've put uh, moisture covers on the car, okay? And they are not Focus ST3 Mark II, two and a half, whatever ones. I believe it to be off a um, 
Pace Lift model or they're off the Mark III. But I was given them and they fit and they do the job and they're on there for temporary measure to bung bank off the holes, okay? Um, that's why they're on there. So if you don't like them, you don't like them. If they're not right, they're not right for you. They do the job for me, okay? They don't look crossy anymore, they don't look crap, fill as a hole. Um, if I don't draw attention to it, you probably won't even know this. Um, but yeah, I'm publicising the fact I do not have the right um, caps for washer jet things. My car is in an ST3, okay, it has an ST3 bumper. I have the original bumper without the um, holes on it. But do you know what? Maybe I'll put it back on another time. I don't know, we'll see. I had a bit of a blow on my exhaust, which I mentioned on the decap, so where I had the decap and the cap was put back on. I ordered new gaskets, but I couldn't get to one of them. So the guys in Auto Care and Britain Ferry took care of me. Absolutely sound, guys. Um, let's have a listen, shall we? So they've put, uh, oh gosh, that's loud. They put new gaskets on and paste it up for me. Apparently this car's like really loud, so I've been told by Chelsea. Watch this funny little clip coming up right now. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, you'll find her insane then. Chelsea thinks the car's really loud, so she's gone out to prove to me now this time of night. She's gonna start it up. So let's have a listen, shall we? Can't hear anything. Cause she's too embarrassed to drive it. Leave the door closed. <laughs> She's mad, I can't even hear it. Can anyone else hear it? <laughs> She's used to have a tank if you want. Chuffed to that, thanks Matthew for doing that for me. Start. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. I've got my caps on, they're not polished. And the truth is, they're not amazing. Um, they'll be flat and polished, they look good. Um, but they're not the best fit, but they're a temporary measure. Anyhow, um, when the car was on the ramp in the garage and Matthew was looking at it, he sent me a photo of what we think actually could be the problem to the wee noise. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna do show you right now. I'm gonna flat and polish the covers and the caps and keep the suspense of what noise could be but anyhow in the meantime put in the comments if you know what it could be what it sounds like or if anyone's um experienced any similar problems um i am looking for the metal boosters or an aftermarket one it runs from the back of the turbo is it to the bottom of the cooler the ones that rust i'm looking for a cold side blue hose and maybe a stage one two or three from the cooler depending on the price um but yeah um i hope you enjoyed the video I do need to get myself a microphone. I've picked up that. I'm trying to equalize all the volumes out and stuff like that to make it sound better. But anyhow, be constructive, be positive in the feedback and stuff in the comments. And let me know what you think. And if you know for anything or how you can help me and support me on my videos, let me know. But until next time, press like and subscribe and follow.